everybody, I'm Matt Fury, and on this exciting video, I'm going to be introducing to you a good friend of mine, Ed Barron, and he's going to be teaching you one of the most valuable exercise routines for strengthening your upper body, in particular your shoulders, your arms, whole upper body. At the same time, you're going to be developing spatial awareness, body awareness, a kinesthetic ability, which this will help you in combat sports or anything you're doing. And all of this is going to be done via the training in handstands. Not just handstand push-ups, you're going to learn that too, but Ed has over 20 different exercises that he's going to do against this wall from a handstand position that is just going to blow your mind. And anybody who thinks that bodyweight exercises are easy after you can do 50 push-ups or 100 squats and that you're no longer building strength, well, first of all, think again in that, on that issue. Second of all, think three, four times after you've tried some of the things that Ed's going to be showing on this video. Ed has a background. He's been involved in fitness for over 20 years. He's done Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, all types of uh, training. He's, he was a big, burly 200 plus pounds when I first met him a few years ago in San Jose, California. And um, now he's like 185 pounds. Uh, he's much smaller now, which he wants to be. But the reason why is because he does both the combat conditioning and he does the weightlifting and he goes and gets regular training in gymnastics. And um, that's not something that most people in their 30s start out doing. Gymnastics for men is something you do when you're younger and you retire in your 20s. So talk about an athlete, somebody who starts in his, in his 30s learning gymnastics. That's a big, big plus because most of you, I would guess, are 30 and above, right? Okay, so these exercises are designed to take you from the beginning stages up to much more advanced stages. There are other exercises that we can put out on a future tape, but you're going to have over 20 exercises, and believe me, to you, they're going to feel advanced. And they are, but there's even more advanced stuff than that. For example, we were recently looking at a Shaolin monk doing a handstand, but not with his hand, each hand on the ground, but with one finger of each hand. One finger of each hand. Now, body weight exercises can't make you stronger. Well, how do you define a body weight exercise? <laughs> you can go all the way down to one finger handstand which we've seen a video of a, a Shaolin monk actually doing that. So there's a lot of amazing stuff you're going to learn. It's going to benefit you greatly, improving and strengthening your entire upper body, but also working your core and your back. When you're holding a handstand position, you're working your back for balance. All the stability through the abdominals and the, and the back is working. So, all right, with no further fanfare. I'm going to bring in Ed Barron and he's going to give you the goods. Thanks for the nice introduction, Matt. Appreciate it. Uh, one thing I wanted to also mention is that although I am lighter now at 185 pounds than I was at 200 plus pounds, I am actually a lot stronger. My clean and jerk is a lot stronger. My snatch is a lot stronger. I'm doing stuff on the gymnastic rings that are pretty amazing for someone. You know, body weight exercises are pretty incredible. So and part of it is having to do with these handstands. Just the strength involved holding your body up. So it's helped my Olympic weightlifting and my whole overall conditioning. And it's, it's just great. So you're gonna really like these exercises. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do is get yourself up into a handstand against the wall. So this might be the most hardest part for people to get over the fear of getting their feet over their hands and their feet over their heads. It's kind of terrifying, like it was for me. And so this is the most basic, but it's also the most important. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to kick up into a handstand against the wall. Um, 
Okay, so you want to be one or two feet against the wall, away from the wall, in a position as such. It's like you're starting a sprint. And then you're going to be lifting your back leg over your head, and it's going to be touching the wall. You want enough energy where it's going to be able to lift your body over your head and touch the wall, but not too much where you're just slamming into the wall and putting a hole into it. And another important thing is it's too, it is kind of scary going over your feet over your head. So the natural reaction to do that is to kind of do a somersault when your feet are going over your head. And you don't want to do that when you're doing it, trying to do a handstand against the wall. And other things, yes, but not now. You want to keep your arms locked or close to being locked as such. So when you're going over, lock them. Don't bend them like this or you hit your head. So make sure you're, they're straight like this. Okay, let's do one. Start here. Enough energy, but not too much. Like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Just keep it like this and get used to where your body is, where the floor is, where everything else is. So make sure where you know where you can fall. My feet are going to fall towards the floor when I bend my knees. So like such. And that's sometimes the hardest thing to figure out is where you are in space when you're like this. So your knees are going to be towards the ground. You always could bend your knees and fall towards the ground. You're not going to fall over your back, but towards your stomach. Your stomach is going to be where you're going to be falling towards. And if you're really scared, and that's all right, have a spot, grab your back leg, and just kind of guide you up while you keep strong. And that's probably a, one of the most basic ways to get into a handstand against the wall. Okay, now you know how to put yourself into a handstand against the wall in a pretty basic position. So slowly we're going to start improving that position where we can get a more of a, a proper handstand like the gymnasts do against the wall. So that means eventually completely straight. So the next exercise is getting your feet against the wall but with your legs straight. So just you can either, there are two ways of doing it, just throw them up straight immediately or put them bent and then erect them. So you want to be straight and here once you have your spatial awareness, make sure you're stretching. Keep your arms straight, keep your legs straight as such. Still get used to everything. Try to hold as long as possible. And holding in that position as long as possible will get your body used to that position. Get your arms used to it, get your shoulders used to it, your stomach and your back. The thing is try not to arc your back as such. Try to keep it straight. I know it's a little hard when you're so far from the wall, but make sure you're as straight as possible. Because the next exercise is when you're going to have to really learn how to keep your body straight and your torso upright. Okay, this next exercise is where your fingertips are against the wall. This is a lot harder to do to keep your body straight and upright. So the first two exercises, your, your hands were as such, like a foot or two away from the wall. Now, what you're going to learn how to do is put them next to the wall. What this does is create a more correct position in your handstand, more straight body, straight torso, straight back, stretch shoulders, so it'll tax your body a lot more and build much more strength. So let's try it. And if you can't get right next to the wall, try it, you know, keep inching your way towards it, and eventually you get up. Okay, so you wanna make sure your legs are going up straight because that'll help you stay up straight to begin with. Make sure your stomach is in, your back is not arched, and your shoulders are pushing your feet towards the sky. Make it as if your shoulders are trying to touch your ears, go over your ears, and get the correct position as such. So don't arch or anything like that. Just keep it like this, straight. And 
It's a lot harder to do it that way, but the strength that you'll get from it is a lot more than doing it away from the wall. Okay, so far you've learned the first three exercises, which are kicking up into a handstand with your legs bent, kicking up into a handstand with your legs straight, and kicking up into a handstand with your legs straight, but fingertips against the wall. So once you can master these for three minutes, you're, moving, you're ready to move on to the next one. And if you, of course you're not going to be able to do three minutes at first. So if you only can do five seconds at first, that's fine. Do five seconds a set, do another five seconds as much as you can. So make sure once you get up to three minutes, you're going to be a lot stronger. So this next one is where we're going to be walking up the wall backwards. Okay, so get into a position like this. Get your feet against the wall and start walking up. And get as far as you can where you're comfortable. If you're only comfortable here and you feel like you're going to fall over, stay there until you're more comfortable. Here, that's fine. So once you get here, start walking up. As close as possible as you can get. Keep pushing your shoulders up and your gut away from the wall. And you want to hold it as long as possible. And if you feel like you're going to fall over, Bend your arms and roll as such. So that way you don't land on your head. And that's a safe way. So I'm going to do that again. So hold as long as possible. Make sure you're in a straight position. Keep the shoulders up. As such. And just hold. flip out of it, or you can walk back down. That's more of the next exercise. Okay, now we're gonna add some movement to this. Before we were doing it, it was holding, using the big muscles and the stabilizing muscles, which is all about handstands. Now, once we have movement, it's gonna really hit the other muscles. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk back and forth on the wall, from the wall in that position that we did last. Okay, so do as many as you can. As you notice, I did big steps and smaller steps. And the smaller steps are actually harder because you're doing more of them and you have to stabilize them a little bit better. So just use variations. Do long, medium, short, and do as many as you can going up and down. And you'll really get them get those muscles hit strong. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna have you do is walk up the wall, back down, and do a push-up. Just another variation for you. So do as many as you can or do as many as you want. You get that variation in there to build a lot more strength. Okay, the next one we're gonna have you do is walking sideways along the wall, traversing it this way and back. So get as long as the wall as possible, the longer the better. You can do a short demonstration here. Okay, now the farther away from the wall, the easier it'll be. So just start like that. You can have your legs bent or straight. Either way is fine because you're going to get the same benefit. So just walk as long as you can, back and forth. And you really feel the reason why your legs are so much stronger than your arms is because 
you're walking on them. So just imagine walking on your arms and your hands, how much stronger your arms are going to be, and your whole upper body, in fact. Okay, now we're going to do the ex next exercise, which is going to a handstand with your fists. Just hold it as such. You can go closer if you want. You have the balance. It's a little bit harder, but different variations you can do. So just get them tight and straight and go into them as such. Okay, the last exercise we did was getting your hands clenched into a fist and then going into the handstand. Now we're going to do a little bit of a more difficult variation. Start out as such like this and make your fist like this when you're in the handstand. So keep your arms straight. It's almost like you're punching the ground, but if you feel like you're going to fall and you can't do it, don't slam your fist into the ground. Make sure you have control before you try to get your hand into a fist from this position. Now we're done handstands against the wall with your hands flat and a fist. Now with our fingertips, just like this. hold it as long as possible. So the last exercise was kicking up into a handstand with our fingertips. That builds some really good grip strength. And this next one we're going to have you do is alternate flat to fingertips, flat to fingertips. What this does is build tremendous grip, ligament, tendon strength in the hands, forearms, just your arms. You're going to really like this. Okay, this next exercise is a handstand quarter push-up. So we're going to get into a handstand and do quarter push-up about this way. And this will ultimately prepare you to do a full handstand push-up. Start here and just go down as such, like this. Go back up. Do as many as you can. Maybe go a little bit farther if you can. Keep back down. So once you can do that, you're ready to move on to the next one. One thing I want to mention is when you're doing these push-ups against the wall, it's okay to start one or two feet away. You don't have to start with your fingertips right next to the wall because that's a lot more typical. Go ahead, take a foot or two away from the wall and do what you can do. So last time we did the quarters push-up, we're going to do a half push-up now. So just go halfway down as such and then push mm -hmm. yourself back up. You can bend your legs or keep them straight, whatever's comfortable and whatever will help you. and do as much as you can that way. Do 10. Once you can do 10 in a row, you're ready to move on to a full handstand, touching your head. Next exercise is doing a handstand push-up, touching your forehead to the ground, pushing back up. And if you can't do this all the way, get it to your sticking point and hold it, and you got a good isometric exercise. And next time, it'll be a little bit further and a little bit further. So just keep working on that. Do as many as you can. 
work up to 10 repetitions and you're ready to go on to the next exercise, which is adding more weight, more weight, it's like adding more weight, it's adding more distance that you'll go down. Okay, you know how I said this was a full handstand? Well, I lied, it's not. It's akin to doing a military press only to your head and up, kind of like the pumper bodybuilders do. And they think they're strong. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put some weight on our barbell, so to speak, some resistance, and elevate our hands so our head goes down further. So I have these stools here, and I'm gonna kick up into the handstand, touch my head on the ground. And again, you can't go all the way if you're just stuck. Stay there, keep pressing, do the isometric thing. And that'll build a lot of strength. And you keep inching your way up. Do as many as you can, do as many sets as you can, and then you're move, ready to move on to the next. The next exercise is using the same stools, but instead of starting here and coming down, we're gonna start here in the headstand and push ourselves up. So what this does is eliminates any sort of momentum I kind of like starting here and doing a press. You can keep your feet or your legs bent or straight any way you can do it. Make sure you know what is harder and what is easier. If you can only hold it there, hold it there. Keep pressing, inching your way up, and eventually you'll be able to push yourself up. Now we have a chair set up, and I'm gonna do a full handstand where my hands are down here, and push myself back up. So make sure you have enough energy to kick yourself up into the handstand and make sure your arms are good and locked. Don't bend them or you come tumbling down onto the chairs. Strength, strong right here, kick them full up. And I don't know, Matt, do you think you can do this? I'm pretty skinny and I don't know if a big guy like you can do it. So if you want to come out here and do it, well, hell yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Yeah, you're not skinny. You're just, you're, you're, your legs are thinner than mine. I got these tree trunk California redwood thigh <laughs> legs. Right. But, Let's see what you But even do. so, you know, with shoulder injuries and 500 surgeries and 300 broken bones, I might still be able to do this. Well, all right. Let's see. Okay. I touched my head to the floor. Even. Oh, okay. All because of his help. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> we got a lot more coming. Okay, Matt. Nice job. You went a little bit further, a lot further. You touched your head to the ground, and I didn't. And um, now it's my turn. And I've learned a lot from my gymnastics coaches and other people, but I've learned a lot from you, such as doing this, which is putting this on the ground, grabbing with my teeth, and pushing back up. Okay, so I just got to say, that's studliness, <laughs> truly studliness. Now, the thing you got to understand about this is, Carl Goss taught me this one, and he had a, this uh, wooden piece of wood, and you'd have to go down and bite it, and push back up, come back down, and he couldn't clunk the piece of wood. He 
couldn't make any noise. And uh, the great thing about that is, is that you had three or four guys doing the same thing. So he said, no slobbering on it as well. <laughs> well, on the day of AIDS and all that, I'm really not interested in exchanging spit with another guy on a piece of wood. So I think everyone should have his own cloth. So, hey, that was awesome, man. Oh, thanks. That was damn good. Appreciate He's the stud. <laughs> no. One of the things we didn't point out about the handstand push-up when you get the towel or the piece of wood in your mouth is what, Ed? Is that it's much more difficult because you're stopping right here. There's no momentum. You have to go even further down. It's almost akin to doing a military press like this. Stop, position yourself, grab the towel, get ready again, and push yourself back up. So there's no momentum, there's no cheating. So it's harder to do it when you're completely stopped. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Hard. Okay, I believe it. All right, now, he's on, he's on. Okay, now this next one he's gonna do, we need, we need two people. So what is it? It's called a handstand step up. It's a exercise I learned from the, my gymnastics coach. Um, you can do them against the wall, they're a lot more difficult, or you can do them freestanding, and then you're a real stud if you can. So try them with a partner to get the balance first, then once you're ready, go to a wall and do them against the wall. So easiest thing is to do them with a partner. An important thing here is to remember to push up on each arm as strong as you can. Okay, so what am I doing here? So you're going to catch it. Catch my feet. Gotcha. And mostly and balance you. me, yeah. So no, I'm not going to throw you anymore. No. Okay. All right, I'll just hold you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what it is is coming up like this, coming up like this, back down. So the hand that is holding you is pushing as hard as it can up, and this is coming up. So don't relax, it's up like this. Yeah, it's like doing a Reebok step with your hands, huh? Right. But only forget the Reebok step. That isn't for you guys. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. That's really, really good. Now, if somebody was on his own, uh, he could try to do it against the wall. Absolutely. It's a lot more difficult. Right, because you don't have the balance as well, side to side. Right. So let me try it. And... Uh, then they can see how hard it is. Because I've never done this before. Okay. This is pretty awesome. Right here. Go. Oh, that's that's good. It show it shows that you gotta be careful on this. Because it's not that easy. No. Let me try one more time than you than you tried. I'm not ready for that one. Let's see. <laughs> I think you're going to get it. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, okay. So hard. Right. That's harder. But like that, you can't do it that way. Start with books, real small books, inch or so. You keep. Right. Gradually getting a higher elevation so you can get it up. And we want to make sure too, for safety reasons, that whatever you got isn't sliding around. These these hold pretty good. These crapper stools. You know, when you're taking a crap, you put your feet on it, <laughs> or you just sit on this when you have nothing else to do. Uh, but. Uh, they're pretty stable. They dig in pretty good. Anything else they could use other than something like this? Or? Sometimes I use uh, boxes, but you know, carver boxes full of books, mm -hmm. something like that. And it's easier to spread your legs apart and to bend your legs against the wall 
and maybe even help your to help you go up as long as you can stable yourself. So there's all sorts of things you can use. If you can't do this at first, even with a partner, you know, get a paperback book and just keep going up there. Get used to the getting up to an elevation and moving your arms and your hands. Yeah, so this is actually, you're saying basically is that this elevation is much higher than what you started off with. Right, right. Oh, I, so you could actually do this, but I, I, I made this too hard for you. <laughs> okay. Possibly. Yeah. All right, good deal. So like start at uh, that elevation, like an inch. This is like a, almost a foot. Right. Yeah. So okay. sometimes you don't even have to start there. Just keep moving your hands. Okay. And the same thing we should point out uh, on the full uh, push-up from the chair is that we went from these stools all the way up there. Yeah, that was a big jump. Yeah. So you can actually put books in between the two chairs. And as you're able to go down and touch, let's say, one book, you remove that one and then you go further. That's how you increase the resistance, right? Right. So you know exactly where you're hitting on your head. The book's on the floor, your head's coming down and touching it. You can get that, remove a book, come back down, put yourself back up. Kind of like you have in your combat condition videos. Right, right. That's good. So, oh, it's telling me you got another one that's even maybe not as hard, but pretty damn brutal. Right. It's probably not as hard, but it's pretty brutal. Now what is it? I gotta know. It's uh, walking in a handstand with partner assisted, since you probably don't know how to do a handstand walk, but that's okay. So Matt's going to help me do a handstand walk. So we're going to walk on our hands back and forth. Sometimes these gymnasts will just keep walking for minutes on end and just walk back and forth on the gym mat. So it builds up a lot of upper body strength and stability. So where am I going to catch your feet? I should be over here then. Right, well you're going to walk this way. Uh, you're going to catch me coming this way. Okay. So I'll be coming up. Yeah. And so then you're going to walk this way, and I'm going to walk back. Okay. Gotcha. So make sure you walk both directions. Okay. And it's harder walking this way. And when I catch one detail, when I catch your feet, I catch them at the ankles. Right. I'm not holding on around your calves or thighs. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's not good. Right. Okay, here we go. And it's, you know, first couple steps are okay, but after you do it a long time, you know, try for five minutes. Sometimes you'll do it for two minutes and you're just dead. But it's a good way to get into the position and get the strength going in your handstand. Okay, let me try these. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. Okay. And like you said, you could take bigger steps or smaller steps too, huh? Right. Smaller. And big. then you could touch your chest. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Okay, good. Whoa. Hey, both of us are learning a lot. We started on this video with about 21 exercises. And as we're filming, how many more have we come up with? Uh, at least 10. At least, yeah. yeah. And we threw out some of the other ones. Right. So, hey, this, if you guys don't like this video, call me, and I'm going to have somebody come over and shoot you. <laughs> I right. just thought of another one after we did the last one. What is it? That's pretty much hopping on your hands, sort of pressing like this when you're on them. Not walking, but punching up and down, using your shoulders and a little bit of your elbows. That's a pretty killer workout. So you're like jumping forward with your hands. Exactly. Both at the same time. Right. Okay, let's try that one. That's yeah. a kicker. As you can see, he's breathing hard. Yeah. yeah. And it's really working the muscles. Right. Good deal. Yeah. So try that one, the partner, and try it as long as you can, and you'll be pretty much spent. Another good one. Make him do it uphill. Excellent. We're just going to try it. Yeah. 
The exercise we're going to show you now is not safe. It's hardcore, but we're trained professionals. So we're going to show you a little bit of it, but don't practice this at home. It would be a lot safer to do it going up hill, like a driveway or something like that. Steps is not as stable, but for a hardcore rugged dude like Ed, no problem. Okay? We're just demonstrating only. Okay. It's all the way up. Good job, man. Thanks. All right. Okay, now I'm going to show you one where you're going to be getting off your hands a bit, touching your head. And this is really good for balance and strength in your arms. And the thing to remember here is when you're coming off one arm, stretch the other like this. Stretch powerfully like this. not easy so just make sure you're pushing straight and hard with your shoulders do what you can do sometimes it's only gonna come up a little bit and not much but do what you can do closer to the wall the harder and with your legs straight it is harder too and now I'm gonna do a one-arm handstand against the wall and the thing to remember here is push up as hard as you can with your supporting arm is just like this and this shoulder will come down a bit you're going to balance and use your hands to balance make sure you're aware of what you're doing kind of like on your feet you know what your feet are doing you know what your body's doing through your hand keep it locked and straight Hold it there as long as you want, and the closer you are to the wall, the harder. So try it with your fingertips against the wall. Or you can spread your legs out for more balance. If you're having trouble getting up, just inch your way up like this. Your arms like this, inch it up, come down to a full arm, one arm handstand. Okay, now I'm gonna do, from a handstand and a wall, walk into a bridge and wouldn't really try this at home if I were you. You need some sort of coaching to do this because it can be a little dangerous. When you're good enough or you get someone to help you or to spot you, see that really helps your arm strength and your back strength and helps you with your gymnastic bridge. Okay, that pretty much concludes this tape. Keep working on these exercises and master them, and once you do, you'll be pretty strong and be able to handle a lot of the other handstand exercises. Um, we'll be coming out with a tape, an advanced tape, on how to do a freestanding handstand with no wall, no partner, and how to do more advanced exercises. Um, if you have any questions, look me up on my website at combatconditioning.com or email me at ed at combatconditioning.com. Make sure you look out for our advanced tape coming out pretty soon. Thanks again.